What I applied for was an Adobe Connect license. Um, I have had some experience with Adobe Connect before. I've used it a uh, previous institution that I worked uh, at where we delivered the course entirely using Adobe Connect as the platform. It was a distance learning course. So I was very familiar with you know, the functionality and how it, how it works. So when I came here, I was really keen to get my hands on on the Adobe software so that I could use it to support some of the face-to-face -face stuff that, that we were doing. Um, so the license essentially was for for me to um, have have the Adobe Connect platform and and the the impetus for that was to integrate it into some of the feedback mechanisms that we were using. Well, we'd had some relatively poor feedback on feedback, and it wasn't just feedback on assessed work; it was feedback. Um, in general, so so anything that students were hoping and wanting to get feedback on, we had been quite poorly scored um, in previous student surveys. So we were tackling a, a, a problem that essentially had been identified through quite a sort of a, you know restrictive box ticking mechanism where people say they're not happy with feedback, but you don't actually quite tease out from a survey why. Um, and my experience of using um, an interactive way of giving feedback, whether it's voice files or in this case a combination of voice and, and screen, um, is, is that students respond to that really well. Um, and what we initially used it for was a situation where we would send them feedback in, in the usual way in, in a, on a written piece of work, but we would supplement that with a, a link to a recording, an Adobe recording, with what one of or, or, or a number of us talking to the student about that piece of work. So it was kind of breaking down that barrier of the student getting an email, opening the feedback and going, oh you know so because however much red pen there is on a piece of a piece of work it, it always looks like more red pen than than anything else so it was about trying to um you know break break that that you know that response and saying okay hi you know it's it's, it's me uh, hopefully you've got this uh, you know feedback and just to supplement that with this was a really you know good piece of work it's improved da, 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 da. so by the time they actually opened it they'd seen me talking to them and they'd had all the good news um, before potentially they looked at the red pen and they responded to that really well Excellent. they loved it it's a master's programme that we run, it's an um, MSc in Food Safety and Quality Management and traditionally because of NRI's background our students come from developing countries so most of them are international students so they're already facing a lot of challenges, they're facing you know, uh, uh, coming to a new, new country, maybe language barriers, a lot of them will have undergraduate degrees from their home country um, which sometimes are not necessarily commensurate with what we would expect, particularly in terms of study skills. So sometimes they have a bit of a, a shock adjusting to the to the level of study skills that that are you know that we would expect at, at master's level. So it, it's it, even with the best will in the world and all of the trying the, the preparation around that. Normally the first piece of assessed work they get, um, you know, is challenging. Um, so this whole thing of not wanting to demoralise them, wanting to make sure that they felt that it, it, there was there was a positivity around it and it, it was all about you know trying to encourage them rather than demoralize them um, and I think that's really important yeah it has I mean I think uh, students have become uh, well, I think what's really exciting about it is, is this has now become an expectation which brings with it obviously this whole series of its own challenges because you know this was a pilot we didn't know if it, it was going to work so essentially now we've done that and now students expect that approach if you know all, all the time so it's a question now of um, working out how we are going to engage um, other lecturers other people that are delivering aspects of the course so that that expectation is met consistently um, and that is always a challenge because people have their own style don't they everybody has their own way of doing something and I think you know the, even the way you give feedback is a very personal thing 
I think they all thought I was completely bonkers um, <laughs> when I when I started. And I guess uh, uh, you know, having had to, having done it before, having taught distance learning before, I was very comfortable with the technology, very comfortable with talking to a laptop, which is not everyone's cup of tea. Um, so the skills you know that you need to to get to literally sit and talk it, it, something along the kind of news reader, you know, uh, sort of skills. So I think I think there are challenges around that. Um, but I mean, my my colleagues that work with me on the program were really keen to give it a go um, and and then play it back and say oh I can't possibly send a student that you know and do it again um, you know and, and and the more you do it um, you know the the easier it gets but I mean essentially it's like having a um, it's like having a one-way conversation um, which you know most academics like that they don't like people answering them back <laughs> so the fact that you get the opportunity just to talk at the screen is uh, is, is, is good it's fine yeah, absolutely. They, they, I mean, and we used it at Christmas as well. So it, it wasn't just you. So I think this is one of the other things. Once you get used to doing it, it becomes a much, um, it becomes a much more sort of habitual thing that you would revert to. It becomes a sort of default position. So rather than sending a, you've all done very well this semester. Have a jolly Christmas email. We sent a hi everybody. You know, this is us signing off. You know, have a lovely break. You know, for those of you that do Christmas, enjoy. For those of you that you know that don't do Christmas just enjoy the break away from us and you know so again to send that rather than the you know the, the the standard email seems even though we were talking to the same group it seems much more personal somehow than just getting the dear all email you know I, I think the the other thing one one particular student last year um, sent me an email saying um, and he he had done a particularly good piece of work. So apart from the fact that was very ebullient about, you know, the, the quality of his his written work, and and it, it was a really good piece of work. But I'd sent him a recording saying this is just fabulous, well done. You know, I really this is just super, la la. And he'd sent it at home to his wife and kids. Um, and he said, it, you know, he was his wife was so proud. And and I think that's brilliant because that means that the sacrifices that these students are making suddenly seem a lot more worthwhile to the people that they've you know they've left behind behind so we have got a lot of students that are older that have families that you know um, that they leave that's a massive sacrifice and I don't think we should ever forget that we're certainly not going to let, let the uh, the license go we've renewed the license um, what we're hoping to do is get to a position whereby everybody here that wants an Adobe Connect license can have one and then because at the moment obviously the license is is is, is mine but other people I can allow people to uh, do certain things on the system but they can't administer the system so you know the possibility that our colleagues could have their own license that they could start to you know um, use it, uh, work with it, see what it might do for them. We have a lot of research-based um, colleagues here who I think could definitely use it instead of, of the amount of work they do on Skype. Um, I mean, it has so much better functionality than that. It's so much more um, sophisticated than that. Uh, I think that would be great. So what we're hoping to do is take what we've what we've still got and then run some sort of uh, collegial demos of and talk about what it is that we've done and why it's been a success. Because you know, with technology, if you want if you want people to use technology, you've got to solve a problem for them. Um, and I think there's lots of problems academics struggle with that you know that Adobe could could help them help them solve. Um, well, I, I don't think it's terribly difficult at all. I mean, uh, I, I think it's a it's a lot more simple than something like Moodle, for example, um, which you know I think does require a, a level of you, you know of, of of aptitude. I mean, it's pretty. Um, it, it makes sense, but intuitive, that's the word I'm looking for, it's pretty intuitive. So, um, yeah, once you get the hang of it, I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's simple. Um, and I think this whole notion that you can store recordings, edit recordings, you know, you can have all sorts of different functionality on it, it's great. Fingers crossed. We haven't. I mean, we haven't repeated that the survey. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. That's going to yeah. happen. I think imminently. Yeah. Um, but fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have made my pledge and yeah. said, 
you know, if I can't imagine that, that it won't do anything um, other than it, than improve it. Yeah. And obviously, it's not the it's not the only thing that will no. that will have improved our feedback, yeah. um, because we've worked very hard at improving the quality of written feedback and face to face feedback and and all that. We had feedback clinics, for example, we ran a series of feedback clinics last semester where, at a given time every week, students could come and literally just talk about feedback, mm -hmm. and they were incredibly popular as well. So it's a whole suite. It's one of a whole suite of, of yeah. things that we've done, um, but in terms of using technology and seeing how students respond to that, yeah. um, I think that's that's really good. If we haven't, you know what, then I quit. <laughs>